with anyone, Republican or Democrat, to get it done. Look, there's more we have to do, but the only one I'd want leading the fight against crime is our Attorney General, Josh Call. Stay big with 11% off everything in Menards. Give any room a fresh look with the beauty and durability of tile from Mohawk. Mohawk features more than 350 ceramic, porcelain, and mosaic glass tiles to fit any decor. All 11% off. Complete your tiling job with professional installation products from Tech. Our selection of mortar and grout make working with any application type or tile size possible. Get 11% off all Tech products now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Child killers, murderers, rapists. Hundreds released early by Tony Evers' parole commission. And they're not even telling victims' families. Governor Evers, everyone in Wisconsin is less safe because of you. Straight ahead, Wisconsin's gubernatorial candidates are campaigning before the election. We'll explain the outside help they're getting. Plus, the Wisconsin Natural Resources Board has approved the state's largest conservation effort. We'll have the details on the project and how it's preserving forest land. And Greenlight Metals is gathering more information about a mining site in Wassa. We'll have the details as your local news starts right now. News Watch 12 with Dan Hagen, Jessica Jukic, and Jeff Weller. Good evening and welcome to News Watch 12 at 5. I'm Dan Hagen. And I'm Jessica Jukic. With less than two weeks till midterm elections, both of Wisconsin's gubernatorial candidates are bringing in outside help for, the, for their campaigns. Candidates Tim Michaels was joined by Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin at stops in both Green Bay and Waukesha. Michaels and Youngkin share some similarities. Both were businessmen before running for governor. And just like Youngkin, Michaels is trying to flip a Democratic governorship for Republicans. Youngkin also says that Michaels is being overlooked and voters will make that clear in November. You see, last year, they said that a Republican couldn't win in a blue state of Virginia. Last year, they said that the media was too strong. They said the suburbs were too blue. They forgot to do one thing, ask the voters. That's what they forgot to do. A state that Joe Biden had won by 10 points, we won by two. That means he's going to win by 12. That's what that means. Youngkin has campaigned with GOP candidates for governor in a host of states, including Michigan, Georgia, New Mexico, and Arizona. Governor Tony Evers is also enlisting outside help by campaigning with Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. Senator Warren joined Democrats on the University of Wisconsin-Madison campus yesterday to encourage voters to cast their ballots for the upcoming election. During her speech to the crowd, she placed her focus on the economy and how Democratic candidates are committed to strengthening the middle class. This election, the yeah, economy huh? is on the ballot. Republicans want this economy to work better for millionaires and billionaires. But Mandela and Tony and Josh and all the Democrats are committed to making this economy work for everyone. Both candidates have received endorsements of former presidents. Michael is being endorsed by President Trump during his primary. And Evers will have President Obama headline a rally on October 29th in Milwaukee. It feels like fall out there. Jeff, what can we expect going into the weekend? Well, temperatures back in the 50s today. Tomorrow we're going for 60s, and we're not going to stop there. We could do low to mid 60s this weekend. So here we go. Let's go outside now to Manaqua. A very nice day, like Jessica said. Temperatures hanging out in the 50s out there right now. There is some cloud cover. Not a lot, just a little. Uh, we'll keep the clouds around tonight into tomorrow morning, and they have lots of clear skies across our area tomorrow. All right, temperature-wise, we're 51 right now in Rhinelander, 52 in Eagle River, 53 for Leona. It's comfy out there. This is about what we're supposed to do this time of the year. But again, it's going to get even warmer from here. We'll have high temperatures tomorrow back up in the 50s, even a couple low 60s out there tomorrow. This looks like we're in trouble, I know, but we're not, right? Lots of clear skies earlier today. Now some cloud cover out there. And those are radar returns, but they're not reaching the ground. So we're going to keep things dry tonight into tomorrow as the air around here is very dry out there right now. This will all evaporate as it hits the ground later Later on tonight. So the bigger picture though shows more rain off to the west of us with temperatures today hanging out uh, in the 50s and tonight we'll have low temperatures back in the 30s. Your full forecast is coming up. Dan, Jessica.
Thanks, Jeff. Gas prices are down, supply chain problems are starting to ease, and shipping costs for companies are dropping. But instead of passing savings on to customers, a Boston Globe investigation finds corporations are making a different choice. Big corporations are choosing to keep prices high for consumers, even as their own expenses for things like materials and transportation go down. According to the article, companies are keeping prices high because it means bigger profits for their companies and massive payouts to their shareholders. One example is J.M. Smucker, the maker of Jif peanut butter and Folgers coffee. Smucker is moving forward on $1.2 billion worth of price increases, while input costs are rising by less than $900 million. The Wisconsin Natural Resources Board has approved the remaining portion of the state's largest land conservation effort in state history. The board signed off on a $15.5 million conservation easement for more than 56,000 acres in northern Wisconsin on Wednesday. The property located east of Rhinelander is known as the Pelican River Forest. The conservation fund bought 70,000 acres of private forest land last year to preserve it for recreational use and logging. James Lem Lemke is a real estate section chief for the DNR, and he stressed the importance of keeping forests like these available for the public. Uh, obviously, the properties uh, remain in perpetual public access. Uh, the, since 2006, uh, over 23,000 acres of lands have been lost to open public access. And so this is the department's way of, of securing in perpetuity this large black block of uh, properties for, for public use. The two easements combined mean the project now surpasses the 65,800 acre Brule St. Croix Legacy Forest, becoming the state's largest land acquisition for public access. The project drew praise from both the board's conservative and liberal appointees. Lemke says this is the most backing he's ever received on a project. As you know, I've come before this board with a number of real estate asks over the last many years. Uh, never have I had an acquisition with as much public support as this acquisition has generated. Oh. The Conservation Fund will oversee the property with certification from the Forest Stewardship Council to ensure management meets environmental standards. A drilling company is seeking approval to begin an exploratory drilling operation in Marathon County. Green Light Wisconsin hopes to find precious metal like gold on a site east of Wassa. Newswatch Trails Kyle Pazorski joins us to explain what Greenlight and the DNR officials are saying on the proposed project. Kyle? Well, Dan, Newswatch 12 has spoken with both DNR officials familiar with the proposal and the experimental operation, as well as Greenlight Wisconsin CEO Dan Colton. Both say the necessary steps are being taken to make this an environmentally safe project. This is not a mining project. Ben Callen, a DNR program manager, says what Greenlight plans to do is being closely looked over by the state agency. This activity is exactly what it's called exploration. So they evaluate those materials to determine the quality, quantity, and location of what they're looking for. The site where Greenlight plans to explore is close by to the beloved Dallas of Eau Claire County Park. It is an opportunity for them to refine information that they have so that they can determine whether or not they want to move forward. We are not a company that would be mining. Greenlight President and CEO Dan Colton believes the site could contain more than 400,000 tons of gold reserves, but the exploration project would be to only gain more knowledge on the site. Now, the only way we would be mining is if we were to enter into a joint venture with another company or we were to acquire another big mining company. Even still, residents say the location should be left alone because while environmental issues might not happen at first, there's always a possibility for something to go wrong. The DNR has until tomorrow to respond to Greenlight's proposal with anything they hope to change or to deny the proposal altogether. For more information about this developing story, head to our website, WJFW.com. A new economic report shows a silver lining for Americans. And a Scot Scottish curling club traveled to Wausau. We'll have the details of their trip. That's After Weather with Jeff right here on Newswatch 12. This portion of Newswatch 12 is brought to you by Furniture and Appliance Mart. I was in law enforcement for over 40 years, and I can't imagine a better attorney general than Josh Call. He's a real prosecutor whose locked up murders, 
serial rapists, the really dangerous guys you want off the street, and kept them behind bars. And he'll work with anyone, Republican or Democrat, to get it done. Look, there's more we have to do, but the only one I'd want leading the fight against crime is our Attorney General, Josh Call. Today, it seems everyone can be their own service technician thanks to the Internet. From servicing their own cars and engines to home remodels and projects, people are trying a little of everything. Here at Maher Water Corporation, we employ nationally certified and factory trained technicians to keep your water treatment systems working to their full lives. We will treat you like our own family. So if you want us to service your equipment, give us a call. But if you're the fix-it-yourself kind of person, we'll enjoy your funny video clips. Northland Basement Systems is the all-things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. As an Army commander, I serve God, family, and country. But the media, they say none of that matters anymore. When I was nine years old, my dad handed me a shovel and put me to work. Nowadays, people get paid to sit on the couch. I'm Tim Michaels. I'm not some career politician. I'm a self-made businessman who doesn't give a rip about the special interests or their money. I'm running for governor to turn Madison upside down and take back the freedoms that make Wisconsin great. Tim Michaels for governor. To everyone who craves a fresh meal, come have a taste of Wisconsin. America's Dairyland. As in real dairy. It gives Clover's fresh frozen custard its famous rich and creamy flavor. Like really rich. So rich. Rich and creamy. And our cook to order Butterburgers? They're tough with, you guessed it, Wisconsin cheese. But it's the smiles we put on your face with every meal made just for you. It really makes our hearts melt. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to Delicious. delicious. <laughs> Welcome back, my friends. You and I get to chat weather for about four minutes, and here we are. We started off with these numbers this morning. 22 here in Rhinelander, 25 for Medford. A very cool start to our day, but we had a really nice recovery in there. Already at 51 in Rhinelander for a high, 52 for Merrill, 49 for Anago. You're the cool kid in town currently, but overall, uh, these are numbers that are just getting started up in the mid-50s tomorrow, then even some low 60s on Saturday as we're still building lots of heat heat for late October across the West right now. That is all moving in our direction. And once it gets here, it's not going to go anywhere quickly. We're talking a long duration, warmer temperature event headed our direction with 60s back in the forecast through much of next week. Okay, so here we are. Uh, the colder air is kind of pushing out of here now behind it. This darker blue color is not cold. It's kind of this cool. And then here come the yellows again, right? There they are kind of hidden, kind of hanging out by us for a couple days around here as the really cold stuff uh, hangs well well north by up the Hudson Bay. That's going to stay there for now. It'll move it down our direction eventually, but until then, we're looking at very nice temperatures across our neck of the woods into the middle portions of next week. On paper, that looks like this, so I want 56 tomorrow. A couple of you could do 60 tomorrow. 60 on Saturday, 58 for Sunday, then hanging out in the low 60s Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. There are some signs that a couple of you could get closer to 70 by the end of next week again. Okay, so out there today, lots of clouds early, followed by uh, lots and lots and lots and lots of sunshine. Just a gorgeous day across the entire region. Uh, but there are some clouds out there now. Uh, they're blowing off thunder showers across parts of western areas, and that's going to pretty much leave us alone, though, tonight, as the air around here is very dry. The dew points are low. So even though the radar sees it about 7,000 feet up, it evaporates on its way down, and thus it will not rain around here tonight. We're looking at pretty good shape here. The bulk of the weather will stay across parts of Missouri and Iowa. We are dry for several days into the weekend and beyond, most likely into next week. And that's not necessarily a good thing. So here's the drought monitor. Uh, it comes out every Thursday and, of course, uh, decades of drought across the West. For us, though, to see this in October uh, for the southern states and parts of the Great Lakes, it's rare, uh, but it's happening. So a very dry country right now. And for us, level one and two drought conditions exist still across parts of north central Wisconsin. Our forecast then for 
for tonight, though, is mostly cloudy skies, but low temperatures are not so low, low temperatures. The average low is 30. We'll do like 35 tonight with that south breeze around 5 to 10. For tomorrow, it's Friday. Partly cloudy skies, highs back up in the mid-50s, but a couple of you could easily do low 60s tomorrow with that southwest breeze around 5 to 10. And then looking ahead, your 70 forecast by North Furniture and Mattress shows tomorrow 56 and uh, Saturday 60, near 60 on Sunday. There's Halloween 60 in the forecast, partly cloudy skies Tuesday and Wednesday, low 60s out there. Our next chance for rain gets in here late Wednesday into Thursday of next week. Jessica and Dan. The U.S. economy is rebounding. The country's gross domestic product grew 2.6% last quarter. The economy suffered declines in both the first and second quarters of this year, but now growth in the third quarter. More spending in travel and dining out, balanced with less spending in durable goods, fueling economic growth. However, another boost might not be likely in the near future. The Center for Economic and Policy Research says due to the Federal Reserve's ongoing rate hikes to fight inflation, it could take a while to see another positive report. A Minnesota landmark disappeared in an instant this morning in Granite Falls. Excel Energy's Minnesota Valley generating plant was demolished by a controlled implosion, ending nearly a century as a landmark in the region. The coal-fired plant was originally built in 1930 and was expanded in 1953. The plant with the signature 280-foot tall twin stacks was retired back in 2009 as a move to cleaner energy sources. Local officials were on hand along with employees and retirees who operated the plant. According to information from the company, Excel Energy will clean up and recycle the concrete, brick and metals from the plant's structure. In 1991, that's the last and only time the Scottish Women's International Touring Team visited Wausau. Today marked their return to the Wausau Curling Center. Wausau Curling Club members took the ice to square off with the team. Local curlers say they learned quite a few lessons today. It's such a friendly competition. We compliment each other's shots and console each other, I guess, <laughs> when they're not so great. The International Scottish Club is touring the country right now, playing 14 clubs in the U.S. over a month-long period. The team speaks highly of their tour both on and off the ice. It's just been fabulous. You know, we've seen so many places that we would probably never come to if, it, if you were going on a holiday. But curling has been the main draw for everybody just to be here and curl. Wausau was their first stop of three in Wisconsin. They'll be playing here for the next few days and then head south to play Kettle Moraine and Milwaukee. The tour wraps up next month when they tally the scores for the U.S. and Scots in Boston. A major leader in the Milwaukee Brewers organization is stepping down. We'll learn about a shuffle in the organization after the break. Child killers, murderers, rapists, hundreds released early by Tony Evers' parole commission. And they're not even telling victims' families. Governor Evers, everyone in Wisconsin is less safe because of you. A governor's job is to make your life better. But would anything on Tim Michaels' agenda actually help you? His rhetoric is violent. People should just be ready to get out in the streets with pitchforks and torches. At his company, women say they were pressured to have sex with their bosses. And he said he'd consider abolishing the Department of Public Instruction. It's a radical's dream, but it wouldn't do a single thing for you. Tony Evers' plan is pretty simple. Create good-paying jobs and bring costs down. That's the right plan for Wisconsin. You heard the Jingle Man, Wisconsin. That means it's time to get a versatile, rugged, athletic SUV that makes you feel like you just won a title. Again. Honda was just crowned KBV.com's best value brand for the seventh year in a row. So get up and go to your Wisconsin Heartland Honda dealer today. Honda gets Wisconsin. Bring it home, Songbird. Say big on everything at Menards. Light up your workspace with a new work light from Smart Electrician. This 10,000 lumen LED work light is portable, super bright, and weather resistant. All Smart Electrician work lights are 11% off. Keep a variety of birds coming back to your feeder with Enchanted Garden Bird Food. Its high quality blends include sunflower, millet, and other grains to ensure the best for your feathery friends. Get 11% off all Enchanted Garden Bird Food now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. 
Saturday, October 29th, the Wisconsin Department of Justice will be holding a free prescription drug take-back event. If you have unused or unwanted medications, ointments, patches, non-aerosol sprays, inhalers, vials, or pet medication, clean all your medicine cabinets. Don't let your old medication fall into the wrong hands by disposing of unused or unwanted medications properly. For more information on locations and accepted items, go to doseofrealitywi.gov. This information is brought to you by the Human Service Center of Vilas, Forest, and Oneida County. Child killers, murderers, rapists, hundreds released early by Tony Evers' parole commission. And they're not even telling victims' families. Governor Evers, everyone in Wisconsin is less safe because of you. David Stearns is stepping away from his role as the Brewers' president of baseball operations. He said today he just needs a break and isn't thinking about taking a job with any other organization. Stearns will remain with the Brewers in an advisory role to owner Mark Antanasio. Matt Arnold, who has been the Brewers' senior vice president and general manager since 2020, takes over the lead role in overseeing baseball operations. Stern's tenure marked the Brewers' greatest run of sustained success in their history. He joined the Brewers in October of 2015 as general manager and was named president of baseball operations before the 2019 season. An alternative burial method is gaining interest in Dane County, Wisconsin. A green cemetery is on the fast track to run out of space as another hopes to open soon. With green burials, there's generally no embalming, vaults, or metal caskets. Michelle Bake shows us what these final resting places look like. Uh, we're not about death here. We're about life, and death is part of it. In Verona, Shed and Farley trek through the woods. To his left is a recent burial. Beloved husband, father, brother, uncle. At the Natural Path Sanctuary, the only caskets allowed are made of raw pine and graves are dug by hand. This way of life has customers on board. We will recompose and provide nutrients for the, the life that surrounds us. Farley says the Green Cemetery hit a record high last year, serving nearly 200 burials, and space could soon run out. I say five to ten years left. left. I think this will be the way of the future. I really do. Another Green Cemetery is on the way in the Middleton area. Terrence Wall hopes to open Solas Natural Burial Reserve next summer. The current cultural status right now in, in the country is one of let's embrace green development. While the elements may have forced this interview out of the rain, Do you wanna... <laughs> some hope to be with Mother Nature in all parts of life and death. More and more people are coming here from other less progressive parts of the state, but with the same desire to treat their bodies and the land with dignity. Look at this beautiful kitchen transformation we did in Kimberly. Terry and Kelly contacted our kitchen tune-up team to make their kitchen dream come true. We not only elevated the look of their cabinetry, but we also added storage and functionality. The kitchen tune-up team was excellent. We were amazed at the attention to detail and their communication. We would highly recommend them. We offer a variety of services to freshen up your space. For amazing results, call Kitchen Tune-Up today. Breaking news in Dallas, Texas, where at least five police officers were killed when they were ambushed. This was the deadliest day for U.S. law enforcement since 9-11. Just days after this horrific crime, Mandela Barnes appeared on Vladimir Putin's propaganda news outlet and rationalized violence against American police officers. Police officers are over-exercising their badges. This probably was a retaliatory attack. Do you want Mandela Barnes representing you in the Senate? I'm Ron Johnson, and I prove this message. Oh boy, would you look at that field goal he kicked right there! That looks fantastic! Boy, it looks like you need to stop at Tomahawk Furniture and Gun! Furniture and Guns? Yeah, they've got everything you need at great prices! Recliners, sofas, mattresses, and guns! Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. 
and the capability you need to do the job so you can get to the important work. Find new moments, find new roads. Get a $500 cash allowance on all 2022 Silverado pickups with a 2.7 liter turbo engine when you purchase. Plus, current Chevy owners can get an additional $2,500 loyalty cash. And now during truck season, get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward a new Chevy truck with accessories. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. Ron Johnson caught lying. Independent fact checks call his attacks on Mandela Barnes false and misleading. But it's Johnson's views that are alarming. Johnson supported a ban on abortions. He co-sponsored a bill that makes no exceptions for rape, incest, or the life of the woman. And Johnson said if women don't like it, they can move. The truth is, it's Ron Johnson who doesn't belong in Wisconsin. All right, Jessica and Jeff, a funny thing I learned today is that vehicles stop working when you run out of gas. <laughs> That's pretty typical. So I was this driving you, after yes. my roller skiing this morning, and I just, <laughs> I totally blanked. I just ran out of gas. So this is me stuck uh, kind of between uh, 17 and G on Highway 8 in Rhinelander. So I did what every smart person would do. I called a colleague. I called Nate Myhawk. He came to pick me up. No, but no, I no, told no. him. You called the newsroom because I was in it. <laughs> no, okay. Well, there's a bigger SOS. story here that is not important for our viewers. But <laughs> the bottom line is I told Nate that I was between 17 and G. And he thought I meant 17 North. But I actually meant 17 South. So that was uh -oh. mistake number one. <laughs> but eventually he came to me and Kyle Pazorski, we have our next picture here. Kyle Pazorski had an extra um, kind of gas <laughs> can that we filled up. But something I learned today is those plastic gas cans cost $22 at gas stations. Mm -hmm. It probably is like 80 cents to make. Yeah. Those plastic <laughs> inflation, things. Inflation, Dan. I don't think it's inflation. <laughs> well, Kyle's always prepared, so that's Kyle a good thing. Kyle is prepared. He had that little gas tank. He has a moped he rides around, so I was appreciative of that. And then you can see here, I was finally be able to fill up my truck on Highway 8. <laughs> you still have your rollerblades on, by the way? My I... roller, my roller skis were not on at this moment. But, you look you know, very I, serious in that photo. Photo. Very serious, you know. I learned my lesson, and I'll probably do it again in a few weeks. So at least you didn't hitchhike, and you thought about <laughs> calling us to come save you, which I was great. Well, I knew for. not to call you because you'd probably leave me out to drive. <laughs> well, no, we were doing the new news. I was, I, I was sure, there with the phone sure. ring. No, sure, yeah. yeah let your fun. assistant take care I of it. Leave you there to drive. Come get you. I can get you. All right, let's check on the weather outside real quickly. Temperatures hanging out in the 50s. Uh, this looks like I know like it's going to rain, Jessica and Dan. It is not going to rain tonight. The air is very dry around Wisconsin. Thus, we're going to stay dry but look at the seven day we have temperatures 50s out there now we're going to end the week in the 60s a very nice weekend is on deck that looks lovely yes. good news love to hear we're running that. out of gas <laughs> thank you jeff that's really all the time we have <laughs> we'll soon. see you back here at six <laughs> see you soon <laughs> Radical Tim Michaels is extremely divisive. I don't care who I offend. And at his company, the culture comes from the top. Multiple court filings say women were sexually assaulted. 